Welcome, Martin. Hello. Hi. Wishing you all the best of fun here up on stage. Thank your you. Your presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. So, do you think, are we ready for IE4? Or are you curious what benefits can IE4 transition bring to our green future? Or are you ready for IE4? Oh, yes? You're asking like this? I think that probably I am not ready for IE4. And as a customer running many motors, I'm wondering if you could explain why I should be interested to be ready for IE4. So maybe, did you know that 70% of produced energy worldwide is at the end consumed by the electric motors? Okay, I see. So in effect, it means that drive applications will be playing a key role in reducing energy consumption. Yeah, exactly, and vice versa. So in case we are developing motors and drives, and then after producing, we, the energy efficiency is one of our main focus. All right, but now how do I know which regulations are applicable for my region? So we know that sometimes it's quite hard to navigate through all the regulations, standards and requirements. So therefore we have made our public sites, we call it Maps Guide, where you can easily find your country and just you can see what are the applicable regulations, uh, country-specific requirements for your country. And also if you are looking for governmental pages, you can go directly from this page. Great. So now, when we are looking at the EU, uh, does it mean that since July next year, I will need to purchase motors in some power range only in the i4 class? Yeah, exactly. So in European, there from the July next year, 2023, there will be for the first time i4 super premium efficiency class mandatory from 75 kV up to 200 kilowatts for two pole, four pole, and six pole motors in a safe area. All right, so now, which products can Siemens offer me to cover the upcoming regulation? So in IE4, the Siemens overachieving the regulation and requirements for the IE4. So we are having a, a seamless portfolio from 2.2 kilowatts up to one megawatt in IE4. And talking particularly about the mandatory uh, range from 75 kilowatts, up to 200 kilowatts, we are um, continuously improving our Simotix Siva Duty next generation motors, which they are predominantly uh, fulfilling and optimized to fulfill the IE4 requirements and even more. Okay, so it's great to see that you can offer me a new product which has been designed for IE4. But now I'm running many IE3 or even IE2 motors in my plant and I'm afraid that it will be demanding to adapt the mechanical interface for a different product. I will need to build new foundations, I will need to purchase shaft couplings, maybe also I will need to uh, adjust the technology driven, which will cause an unwanted shutdown of the production. No, not at all. The succeeded type of the motors are designed within the same dimensions and mounting dimensions. Therefore, also the main terminal boxes are at the same position. Therefore, also the cabling remain the same. Okay, understood that I can simply install the new i4 motors and with them I can cover the regulations. Uh, but are there any further benefits for me? Yeah, for sure. And what is the best on you on that? You can calculate it by yourself because we are having our CineSafe tool when you can easily put, for example, 200 kilowatt motor and, uh, in, in uh, IE4 and you just compare with the IE2 motor. And by that time, your, uh, your power reduction, the losses will be dropped down more than 30%. Okay, that's impressive because recently the development of the energy costs has been really also impressive. Yeah, but the commercial calculation is also part of the Sinase. So you can see, the, for example, in this case, an application running 24-7, you can get the, uh, the energy savings and money savings 
annually 3,000 euros. Okay, sounds perfect, because when I take into account all motors which I have in my plant, I will be able to see the difference in the energy bill at first sight. However, I don't have only motors which are running continuously at maximum power. Mm -hmm. I have applications where I need to control the output, and I'm considering to use converters. How do I know whether it's a good idea to do so? Yeah, for this kind of application, when, for example, running on the partial load, it's very important uh, to consider the frequency converter as a, the most efficient and most economical solution with a really short payback time. So, in our development, we are also having a seamless portfolio of Cinemix drives, where uh, we are also focusing on energy efficient functions. So, you can uh, be available. So, for example, you can see some of them, and the energy efficiency is one of our main focus also in the drives. Okay, understood, but can I imagine some figures behind that? Can I evaluate by myself which applications make sense to uh, apply a converter from the energy saving point of view? Absolutely. And the good thing, CineSafe is again the right answer. So in here, for example, if we let's suppose you are running a 200 kilowatt motor, IE3 for example, and you are using the old, old uh, throttling operation mode, which is the old system, how to, how to uh, maintain or control, for example, the pump, and you just compare with the IE4 with the drive. So now you can see, uh, based on the load of the pump, the green area represent your energy savings. Okay, sounds good. Uh, but of course, a converter is not a cheap equipment to purchase. That's you think right. That in this case, I can reach the payback time of, let's say, five years? No, not at all. In this case, the payback time will be in a couple of months. Wow. Thank you very much. So, in fact, now I see that with Siemens Motors and Drys, in fact, I am ready for I4. So, I'm ready for I4 so that I can reduce consumption and carbon footprint. I'm ready for I4 so that I can reach even higher savings with converters and I'm ready for I4 so that I'm able to contribute to a sustainable future. That's great. So hopefully you all now seem to be ready for I4. But if you still have some doubts, then we can go to our station and we will tell you more about the benefits you can gain from the I4 transitions.